What do central banks do? Well, they fulfill three main functions. Macroeconomic stability, uh, most commonly in form of inflation target, financial stability, and uh, payment system, which they oversight and uh, supervise. I would like to concentrate on the second aspect on financial stability, which has been more pronounced in central banking activities since the global financial crisis in 2008. Financial stability, or perhaps taking a step back, financial system fulfills a very special role in, the, in modern economy. Uh, it is often said that financial system acts as a conduct uh, from those who have money who, to those who do need money. So from borrowers, uh, from lenders to borrowers. However, it also fulfills uh, another more important role as it essentially decides on who gets the money. It is banks who decide uh, which corporate, which firm will obtain credit, which household would uh, get, get a mortgage or a consumption loan. So the financial system decides who can smooth consumption, who can absorb better liquidity shocks, and who can have something which they would only have far in the future, home, already now. Well-functioning financial system improves welfare. However, periods when financial system fails to provide these essential um, instruments uh, is uh, often met with distress and, financi and financial crisis occur, which, as history tells us, uh, have severe social, economic, political consequences. Many of the profound changes, often to the bad, uh, that occurred in, human, in, in recent history over decades and, and centuries were associated with financial crisis. So, and financial stability objective aims at reducing either the probability of such crisis occurring or the severity of such crisis. Before the global financial crisis, there was a big debate in central banking whether central banks should lean against potential bubbles by raising interest rates or perhaps clean afterwards without leaning against the bubble that is reducing interest rates to provide support for macroeconomic activity after the distress. Now, the argument for only cleaning after the bubbles and not necessarily actively fighting them with rising interest rates is that rising interest rates affects all aspects of economic activity and, is, uh, and therefore has big, can, can have big collateral damage. Uh, outside of the bubble. Following global financial crisis, uh, there was a new policy introduced, macroprudential policy, that is tailored to tackle the systemic risk associated with a financial crisis that may occur not because of weakness of particular institutions, but of the system itself. And central banks are very well placed to analyze this kind of risk as they have been routinely doing so over the last decades by uh, conducting uh, monetary policy. However, with separation of instruments, interest rate targeting mostly uh, uh, inflation risk and macroprudential policy targeting financial risk, one can be more specific, targeted and uh, more effective in conducting um, macroeconomic policy. So. Uh, at uh, Na National Bank of Poland, uh, the main the, the the role of financial stability is associated with uh, a, 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 a committee uh, of financial stability, which is encompasses um, members of uh, Minister of Finance, um, the Bank Guarantee Fund, uh, Financial Supervisory Authority, and National Bank of Poland. Uh, with a chairman uh, as uh, acting as a, as a with a with a leading role, and this this committee uh, provides recommendations to other members 
which have the uh, uh, legal powers to introduce some measures that are to counteract or to dampen or to limit the risk associated with some of the imbalances that the, the committee identifies uh, in the system. This can be related to, for example, excess lending in mortgage market, excess growth in, in this category, and whereas historically one would ponder to what extent should central bank increase interest rates in order to tackle this risk with perhaps quite substantial side effects on the rest of the economy, nowadays we do have more targeted tools that can limit the size of the bubble or limit the excess growth in credit that in future may lead to, to crisis with uh, substantial negative effects, not only on those who participate in the bubble, but also on the whole economy. So central bank, even though the, in, in, as particularly in Poland, the financial stability uh, target is not at the very front, it is important. It is to some extent embedded in an inflation target because when financial instability occurs, it mostly also uh, as is associated with uh, macroeconomic instability and uh, uh, volatile inflation. So to some extent, the risk of instability is included in inflation, uh, uh, inflation target, but at, uh, but at some points there may, there may be discrepancies and we do now have tools that allow us to more effectively, in a targeted way, affect certain aspects of risk in the financial system that may not necessarily include rising interest rates, which would have substantial collateral effects. Now, so, um, uh, hope, luckily, over the last few years, the financial system in Poland has been very stable and robust. Uh, um, withstanding very well many macroeconomic uh, shocks uh, thanks to substantial amounts of capital and we at uh, Narodowe Bank Polski continue to monitor, uh, examine, analyze the risk in the financial system, the spillover effects, the interactions with the economy and uh, with colleagues from uh, Minister of Finance, Bank Guarantee Fund in Financial Supervisory Authority meet regularly, discuss and analyze potential uh, mm, uh, actions that need to be taken. For now, uh, the system continues to be very robust and, and, uh, and strong and uh, one of the um, um, more robust uh, uh, in the um, European Union as the COVID crisis has shown us. Well, thank you for, for your attention.